Hi, welcome to CTN Member Highlights. I'm Leslie McVeigh, and my guest today is Sammy Potter, a senior at Yarmouth High School. Hi, Sammy. Hi, thank you so much for having me here. Yeah, well, you've been, um, you've sort of excelled in high school um, in sports and you know, organizing events, and you've you've made a difference at the high school over your four years, and 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 it's branched out into the greater community. And now you've come up with this idea called A Day of Hope. Let's talk a little bit about what that is and why you decided this was something you needed to do. Sure, so I think as many people are, are is, is really evident in the air right now is, you know, we're really living in an era of uncertainty for a lot of people. There's, there's fear among some people, there's uncertainty, and um, you know, I wanted to try to create event that, an event that was nonpartisan but had the central focus of hope and where we can get hope, how we can use it to make a positive impact. Because you know, where I find hope um, has to do with my family, has to do with my friends and my peers and trying to make a difference with them. But I want to know where other people get hope and how they use it to make a positive impact. And hopefully that can help my friends, my peers, and people in Maine understand um, you know, why it is so important to be hopeful, even in times of uncertainty, and in that way try to make a difference. Yes, and you brought together people from sort of a wide range of areas mm -hmm. to talk about in sort of a TED Talk kind of way yeah. about what they do to find hope. That's exactly right. So I wanted to try to get people from a variety of venues, um, not just politics, but business, uh, music, art, uh, and we almost got somebody from food, but that didn't end up end up, end up happening. So uh, we have six speakers from um, from those core areas, and um, while they're each talking about it from their own perspective, we prompted each of them with the simple idea of what gives you hope and how do you use that to make a positive impact. And it's really incredible to see, w even from my perspective right now, of what they're going to be talking about based on their own. Own, um, their own perspective of where they're coming from. Because somebody, we have um, one person from music who's coming who obviously gets a much, much different, uh, has a much different perspective on where they get hope than, you know, one of our political speakers. And it's just incredible to see the confluence of ideas um, and what brings people uh, to try to make a difference in Maine. So you got this idea, yeah. and then how did, how'd you go about putting it together? You had to approach the high school, because it's going to be at the Yarmouth Auditorium, Yarmouth High School Auditorium, that's right, yeah. on December 2nd, mm -hmm. from 1 to 3.30? 1 to 3.30, that's right. All right, mm -hmm. so what did you have to do? What were the steps? Sure, so the first thing I knew I had to do was uh, find a venue. Um, I initially wanted to do it at the uh, Merrill Auditorium, um, but then I, I really realized that, you know, where I've gotten my, um, my sense of self has been at Yarmouth High School, and I wanted to make this about, uh, about my community, about trying to help my community of Maine, but specifically my community of Yarmouth High School. So I, th I thought, what, fit, what more fitting place to have it than Yarmouth High School? So I dealt with the kind of a bureaucracy of the administration to get that um, approved. And then from there, it was trying to g convince and um, create a, a group of speakers that I felt best, um, best as, as a microcosm uh, was uh, indicative of, of various, a variety of, um, a variety of areas, but could speak uh, and had been successful in, in Maine. So I wanted to get somebody from each of those core areas. Fortunately, I had known some of them from prior things I have done, um, like Senator Kathy Breen spoke at an event that I organized a year ago, so I had contact with her, um, and just a variety of different ways that I had come into contact with people. One thing I will say is that I tend to be pretty shameless in just emailing some if I find their email. Um, so that was definitely very helpful in, in getting a few speakers on board who I, who I didn't know. You know, it's so easy in this day and age to try to contact somebody. Yeah. And I've been, I've been pleasantly surprised that, you know, if you have, a great, if you have an idea that, that people care about, they're, you know, they're willing to help you and they're willing, willing to be involved. Yeah. So I curated a speaker list um, and then recruited a couple of my friends to, to help out because I really want this to be about students, about young people, about inspiring young people. So I curated a group of students at my high school. There's five of us strong. Uh, we applied for a grant with what's called the Yarmouth Education Foundation, mm -hmm. um, and they are funding us to, to put on the event. That's terrific. Let's talk a little bit about sure. who the speakers are. Sure. Um, you, you mentioned Kathy Breen. That's right. Um, but we've got a few others. You wanna, do you yeah. want to go through the list? Because I've got it here. Right. I'm sure you know who they uh, are. I know by heart. That's for yeah. sure. Um, so we have Senator Kathy Breen. Mm -hmm. uh, we have former gubernatorial candidate and entrepreneur Elliot Cutler. Mm -hmm. um, we have musician Spencer Albee, who I mentioned before. We have mm -hmm. uh, Jess Knox, who is an entrepreneur in Maine. Um, we have Leslie Silverstein, who is 
um, a immigration lawyer in Maine mm -hmm. um, and somebody that is is very very incredibly inspiring um, in that area so she's going to be bringing that um, perspective of of um, you know immigration in Maine and why it's so important to um, to be a community of immigrants and how even even in Maine which is you know the least diverse state mm -hmm. how, how we really are still um, a community of, of immigrants. Um, so we have uh, those five, and did I, I, I mention, sorry, I, I'm, I'm going through the list. Oh, I know, because we're not doing in my order here. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Who did I know? Ethan. Right, I didn't mention, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Ethan. Um, I, yeah. So yeah, Mayor Strimling is gonna be speaking right. at the event as well. Right, mm -hmm. well, that sounds like a great lineup and, mm -hmm. and really some very different perspectives. Right. So tell me, who your other co-workers are in, in organizing this? Sure, um, I mean really it's just my friends who are as motivated as me to um, to be working on an event like this. So I have my, my buddy Ben Cox Faxon who is a junior um, at high school. We run cross country together um, and he really helped me like formulate this idea when I was um, when I was thinking about it. You know because the onus of this is really uh, about we're in a time of uncertainty and us young people, you know, especially in Maine, we want to move the state forward. We care about the state, um, and he's one one person who cares about it as much as I do. Um, and then I have my friend Sage Waterson, who's also a senior at high school, um, and then my friend Sam Majerison, who is a, a junior at Yarmouth High School. So the four of us are, are working hard on it, and um, we're, we're making some great progress. Yeah. Yeah. So um, this came to you. I think yeah. it's a great idea. Nice. I hope everybody goes. <laughs> um, but has there been a lot of discussion among the kids in your school about what's happening in the world, what's happening locally, what's happening in the state, yeah. um, about you know this sense of you know what can I do? You know, n not a lot of hope out there. Right. Um, how how did how are they? talking about it in the high school? That's a really good question. Um, and that's one of the things, it's one of the things that motivates me most to try to make a difference in, in my community and in Maine. Mm -hmm. um, I find that there's somewhat of an even split. Um, I think that a lot of kids are, um, you know, uh, really hopeful and still have that idealistic sense about us. Um, you know, there's the, there's the classic stereotype of, a, of an 18 year old kid who wants to do everything in the world but has no idea how to do it. I think that's that's me, and that's a lot of my <laughs> that's a lot of my friends. Um, but I also see some um, young people um, fall victim to cynicism a little bit, and I really aspire to President Barack Obama's idea that as long as we don't let cynicism protrude into society, then our best days are ever ahead of us. So what what my goal is in this event as, is a microcosm of it, but as a whole, I think what's so important for young people in um, in in Maine and around the world is to is to stay hopeful and stay that and continue to be that idealistic um, self that we can be. Um, but um, it is it is definitely evident that uh, cynicism is kind of brewing and isn't is on the outskirts of society. Um, and I want to do my best to try to keep it there. Well, I think that's wonderful, and and it's inspiring for me to hear this. So let's go through before we sure. say goodbye. Yeah when it is, That's how right. they can contact you. Sure. You wanna? Yeah, sure. Um, so uh, we have a website that uh, mm -hmm. is very easy to use. It's www.dayofhopemaine.com. Um, you can check out the speaker list. You can check out more about what they're speaking about. Um, there's an easy way to, to contact us on there. And you can get tickets. That's there. right, you can, get, <laughs> you can get tickets for $7 on there. Right. Um, and uh, so it's gonna take place on December 2nd from 1 to 3 p.m. at Yarmouth High School. Uh, tickets are very easy to, to purchase on, on the website. Mm -hmm. And all of the, uh, we haven't quite identified where the proceeds are going to go to yet, but they will be donated to a Portland charity. Well, thank you, and uh, you are a, a good example of our future. Thank you so much. Thank, <laughs> thank you so much. You. And thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Another, anytime.